Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. I get asked a lot of time, what's the best room, best size? Of course, my answer is always, well, what are you doing in the room? Because every usage has a different requirement, not only in size and treatment, but what you have to remember is the room only sees energy. So are you putting one vocalist in there? Are you putting a drum kit? Are you putting a five member rock band? Are you doing EDM music? with a studio I saw the other day, 24 inch drivers. Wow. So you got to know a lot of things. You got to decide. The answer to the best room is no room at all. Rooms are distortion. They're full of distortion. Room modes, reflections, pressure reflections. Those are our two main categories that we have. So the best room is no room at all. No boundary surfaces to confine low frequency pressure waves. No boundary surfaces to produce reflections back at the listing position. No boundary surfaces at all. That's the best situation. Just the earth. Just the bottom. Nothing else. That's the best, okay? Take your system out into the woods where it's quiet and listen to it. Completely different sound. Pressure reflections, pressure modes, reflections, time signature management of the reflections, because we got to balance the reflections versus the direct energy from source. That's what we have to do. It's always a balancing act, okay? That's room sound. Modes, reflections, that's room. We don't want it. We want some of it, but most of it we don't. We definitely don't want any modal issues. Reflections have to be managed with the proper rate and level of absorption. All that has to be calculated and designed for. Take a look at this video here. It's uh, Daryl Hall and Finger 11. A little outside acoustic uh, version of Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone. sunshine when she's gone you get a chance watch that there's no room here listen to the instruments voices listen to them of course but listen to the instruments there's harmonics in there okay i hear three orders can you and then look at the chris isaacs track that was all done in studio. Listen to the sound of voice and the instruments there. completely different. That difference is room. Even though the engineers did a great job across the board in both venues, you can still hear the difference. And that difference is room. And that's what we fight to manage. So, and that's, they've squeezed that issue down, you know, into a very small percentage. Most large rooms and medium-sized rooms and small rooms don't sound that good out of the gate. There's a lot of engineering in all of that. But you can sense the room in both recordings. And that's what it's all about. The goal is to get it to sound like music. I think we've forgotten what real music sounds like. Go to live events, listen. I don't care if it's electronic events with PA systems or acoustical events, concerts, but go listen to live music. I don't sense a lot of our music today has that sounds like music feel. And what else is there with music other than feelings? Best room. No room at all. Hope this helps. Thanks.
Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.